it's day 35 and we have still not found shelter. <laughs> It's 90 degrees. Not right now because it's nighttime, but the high of 90 degrees today. It's not 90 here. Not here. Also, these jackets are very hip, but not super warm. Nope, they are not thick enough. So I wore a scarf today, and that's still very cold. <laughs> yeah, so we're about to go on the original London tour. So. We only are starting about four hours later than we planned. So, like, per overall, pretty good. You, you know what's really good? We're not taking a nap right now. Oh yeah, we could have too. We went back to the hotel so because um, we forgot our Arsenal tickets, so we had to go back to the hotel after breakfast, which would have been really prime for us to take a nap. Which I didn't even go upstairs. So I'm like, I'm not gonna risk it. And so, we did, so we did it. We're here. We're waiting outside of Canada, <laughs> and we're waiting for the original tour. So. We're the ones with the open tops. <laughs> I'm not riding in the open top. No, we'll ride down below. So, well, our, our plan is to literally, it's a three hour if you just stay on the bus. Yeah. And we're just planning on staying on the bus to see. Because Lauren has been to London now a full week of time yeah. and have seen nothing London. I've seen nothing. I was really embarrassed like last year when we came back, people were like, oh my gosh, how's London? And I just like, oh, and like didn't say words. I was just like, yersh. <laughs> um, Right. I was embarrassed that like we just died. Ryan right. got sick. Yeah. And I didn't care enough to do things by myself. I know that's like not very feminist of me, but I just was like, man, I'm fine. So this trip, I was like, I gotta see Big Ben and the bridge at least. Which we had booked these tickets for the last time we were here. And, and I the... emailed them and I was like, oh no, our like schedule changed. So we're not gonna be able to use them, but we're gonna come back. And so they put an extension on us picking up our tickets. So luckily we didn't have to pay again. So we paid for these tickets literally a year ago. Uh, also, we're in Trafalgar Square. Now, I don't know what that means, but I've heard but that But it's a before. place. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So, all right. We're going to get on this bus whenever it comes and see London. And see France. And see someone's underpants. Whoa! <laughs> It's day 35, and we have still not found shelter. <laughs> it's been a terrible blizzard, wind chill, negative 1,000. I'm so cold. <laughs> Maybe my if ears. we had worn jackets that weren't just fashion, like one layer. Ugh. Why do people live here? So a quick update on the uh, original tour of London. Uh, we have waited outside in the freezing rain for 45 minutes. Uh, a couple cut us off, so we couldn't get up to the upper deck. So we when the bus finally did. Come. Yes, they cut us off, and uh, so we sat down below for a while. Ryan was in the red. Yep. He got into the red. And then we finally got up here. Uh, now we're up at the top of deck. You can see we're up here, and our tour guide got off the bus. Yeah. Guys, do you need to eat your phone? Okay, and so as I was about to say, we were a little interrupted and we were kind of just sitting at the stop here with the bus turned off and we're like, well, we don't know what's going on. And a lady just came by to hand us all headphones because our tour bus has now turned into an audio tour bus. And the only reason we found out is because we flat out asked, is this no longer a guided tour? She's like, no, no, this is now an audio tour. We get off. And wait 20 more minutes for another for the next one with a, with a guy. So I can't say we, uh, we recommend the original tour, but we're gonna stay on this, power through it, and uh, move on with our lives. We got off the bus. Yeah, we got off because it's like we the were, whole point of taking this bus was for the tour guide. And we waited 45 minutes to get because we could have we, we gotten the audio tour like 
right away without having to wait for a tour guide. But, but we didn't want to. So we're going to just add another 15 minutes onto this and why not? Because it's go, not cold. Let's go stand on there at least where there's less. I'm getting drowned so Quick update. I uh, just got a notification that the next T1 tour bus is going to be six minutes late. So yeah, that's where we are now. I'm, Lauren and I are debating if we should just take an Uber back to okay, the hotel. Technically on the bus, I said, if this bus breaks down, it's a sign from the universe that we're supposed to just go back to our hotel and nap before the Arsenal game. And then within five minutes, our bus, it did not break down, but it changed. Like, this is not what we boarded. No. And now it's running late, which like, there is traffic, like it's a big city. So like, but it's just, it's that piled on top of the fact that like, we already got on a T1. Yeah. I and we know. wait. We waited the extra at least, at least half hour yeah. to get on a T1 because we did. Because we wanted a live tour guide. Yeah, because that's what we we paid for. And uh, so yeah, that's where we are. They have led us. They have led us on to the bus, which this bus has been sitting here since we pulled up. <laughs> and then they just decided that it's going to uh, leave. This is going to yeah. yeah. So why this one is six minutes late is even more suspicious because it we're just sitting here. Yeah, and it was, it's been sitting here the entire time, so. Maybe they read mine and Ryan's just like seething anger hanging out there. I will say the woman that was like helping us, like she what was, did she do, right? Yeah. Like she was being- We're not mad at any of the individuals. This is just the total, uh, who's ever in charge of the operation. Like why did our two guys get off? Yeah. I just don't know. So anyway, we have a good view though. We're up front here, I'll show you. So here, so here we're we're up front. So if we ever get if this bus moves and we get to be a part of it with the tour guide, <laughs> we got good seats. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, all right, here's the here's the open. We're on London tour. Original London tour. Yeah, they really held off, but I'm like, well, maybe it's been improved by others. <laughs> Original. How terrible was it before the other ones came along? Oh my gosh. They made you push the bus around. <laughs> it was a horseless carriage. <laughs> Wait, that's just a car. It was a horse, a horse carriage, horse-drawn carriage. Oh, a man. Horse? No, with a horse. We had that's a what I'm saying. That it was that. Oh, without. So it was literally just like a wagon. Like we it was were pushing it around. <laughs> the tour guide was in it. Nope. Just like they put in one of those, uh, uh, what's the like before they had radios? They had oh. what like the record would be on there with the big uh, speakerphone thing, like a gamma gamma phone. We well, edit all this out. Hi. Clean speech to open part of. When her father did it, it was difficult for him because of his terrible speech impediment, and they made a film about it called the King's Speech. Yeah. This is the stop right here for Westminster Abbey. And that's Westminster Abbey ahead of you, the big white church on the left hand side, straight ahead. Okay. Two white towers there. That's the name. That's where our two great scientists are buried, Sir Isaac Newton and Charles Darwin. In the middle is the Poets Corner, where writers like Charles Dickens, Rudyard Kipling and Thomas Hardy are buried. And then in a minute we'll see the most beautiful part, where our early kings and queens are buried. But have a look at the carvings here, by the Sovereign's entrance. Can you see inside and above these beautiful carvings? Yeah. Now, match the architecture, look to the right where Richard the Lionheart is, and see how the House of Palm was built to fit in with the back end of Westminster Abbey on the left. And that's the most beautiful part of the Abbey, where the royal graves are. We've got two cousins uh, buried in there. They never actually met in real life, but they wrote thousands of letters to each other. Okay. They're the Queen of Scotland, Mary Queen of Scots, who's buried this side of the chapel, and her cousin Elizabeth I, who's buried on the other side. Okay. It's the closest they ever came to each other. <laughs> and that's the Queen's grandfather there on the left. Okay. George V. 
He's the only man who's ever interfered with what the band play at the Change of the Guard. He sent out a note to the bandsman one day, and he opened it during the guard change. It said, I don't know what you played, but never play it again. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. There's Big Fed on the right. Yeah. Most famous image of London is leaning at the moment, leaning towards the Black Office building over yes. there. Uh, they're they're going to correct it over the next three years because if they don't correct it, it will topple over yes. in 800 years' time. Okay. <laughs> so they got some time. Yeah. yeah. But our, our politicians are very forward thinking. Yeah. That's their offices. Can you see the black building yeah. with all the chimneys on top? Yeah. Uh, the chimneys are to expel all the hot air. <laughs> 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 And there's a tunnel from there into the House of Parliament, and also a tunnel from Westminster Hall here on the right into Westminster Abbey. Okay. Yeah. That's sort of a Cromwell outside. Yeah. He he led us the only time we didn't have a king. Okay. Yes, I am now. Give the bell. There's Churchill, just back there to the right, facing the scene of all his great speeches, the House of Commons. And another thing they're going to do when they repair it is they're going to replace all the 300 panes of white glass up by the hands. So this. Yeah, this will start in a few months. Only one, one side good. is going to be visible for three years. The other three sides are going to be no, coming up. Now there's a door in the front of the stage. There's a door in the front of the stage. There's a Now, can you see the carvings just back there on the right? Very beautiful carvings in the front of Australia House. This man here to the right, William Gladstone, four times Prime Minister of Great Britain under Queen Victoria. Now, all our Prime Minister's statues are in Parliament Square. So why is Gladstone out here on his own? Well, the reason is Queen Victoria hated him. <laughs> so she got demoted to this area. Tower Bridge. Well, we're not going to be crossing Tower Bridge on this bus, so we do need to go to the other side of Tower Bridge. He can get off the bus here at the next stop and walk across. Uh, now that the sun's come out, it's quite nice. And uh, you've got some great views on either uh, side of the bridge. Uh, you can also go and do Tower Bridge exhibition. I don't think that's closed yet. The Tower Bridge exhibition has you go up to the very top. At the top of the bridge, between the two central arches, is actually a walkway. So you can walk between the, the two central arches right at the very top and look down at all these things standing in London today. And if you didn't get this picture the first time around, the Tower of London will stand next to the Tower Bridge on your left. It's a great photo of opportunity. <laughs> Apparently, he is slowly falling towards this building right in front of us. 